Hey, everybody. I wanted to ask you, what's your plan with the federal judge's decision that you will need to testify before the grand jury? We'll, we'll be speaking with our attorneys in Washington before the end of the week and sorting out uh, what our next steps are. So you've, you've, you've said that history will be a judge of uh, Donald Trump regarding January 6th. But in order for history to accurately judge him, it has to know all the facts. And you're at the heart of that story. I am. How important is it to go above and beyond and tell everything you know? Well, Mark, if you read my book, if you listen to the, to the speeches and interviews that I've done over the last two years, you'll know that I think the American people deserve the whole story. And I've been sharing that truth with the American people, and, and, and I'll continue to. Uh, we have nothing to hide. I'm, I'm proud of what I did on that day. I believe we did right under the Constitution and in service of the nation. And I'm pleased the court agreed with us that, in fact, the speech and debate clause does apply to a vice president when they're serving as president of the Senate. Uh, but we want to do so. We want to operate in this environment, in this context, in a way that's just as faithful to the Constitution uh, as, as I was on that fateful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.